How's it going? For today's presentation, let's take an up close and personal, in depth look at the 2009 Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. And this is going to be a detailed, in depth review of the 599. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior as well as exterior. And before I begin, I'd like to take a moment to extend a big thanks and special shout out to the Gold Coast Auto Gallery located in Chicago, Illinois, for allowing me to come out and providing the Ferrari 599 featured in today's in-depth review. For a look at the rest of their exotic inventory, check out BentleyGoldCoast.com. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. It's a beautiful deep black exterior, otherwise known as narrow, with an equally awesome premium narrow leather interior with unique yellow color accent stitching, as well as high gloss carbon fiber and satin aluminum. Just like the rest of the modern Ferrari lineup, the ignition process is actually two steps. First, you would go ahead and insert the key, turn the vehicle's power on, then while simply depressing the brake, hit the engine start button located on the steering wheel. The 599 carries a hydraulically assisted rack and pinion steering setup fed through a three-spoke leather and optional carbon fiber steering wheel. Perforated leather wraps the sides while the smooth bottom features optional color accent cross stitching. There's comfortable thumb rests 9 to 3, while 10 to 2 houses robust bolsters for extra grip. Each bolster also houses a button for your horn. The carbon fiber portion at the top contains a strip of LEDs that sync up with the tachometer to indicate proper shifting intervals like an F1 car. The Manatino switch in the bottom right alters everything from shifting profiles to stability, F1 track, and even the adaptive dampers, adjusting accordingly respective to the desired mode no matter if it's in ice or race mode. There were two transmissions available, first being a six-speed manual gearbox or an all-new automated manual paired with a revised F1 traction control system and electronic limited slip differential. The latter gearbox, dubbed F1 Superfast, is a revised version of Ferrari's six-speed automated manual that works to preload or prep the next gear before the clutch is fully disengaged, combining the action of both clutch work and gear selection. It's capable of lightning quick 100 millisecond gear changes and high performance driving, shifting faster than an F430 by 50 milliseconds, and is 150 milliseconds quicker to shift than its predecessor, the 575 Marinello. With that, there's also a full auto mode with enhanced smoothness thanks to a new twin disc clutch. Gears can also be selected manually via the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. So we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic by Xenon headlamps, as well as the rear fog lamps and hazards. Naturally, both the windows are fully automatic. And we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? Before the world was introduced to the all-new F12 Berlinetta, the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano represented the most powerful and advanced GT car the brand had ever produced. 
It's an aluminum body two-seater with one of the most power-dense engines of its day, 103 horsepower per liter, a gain of 14% over its predecessor. Its name is derived from its engine displacement divided by 10, while GTB stands for Gran Turismo Berlinetta, while the latter refers to Ferrari's Fiorano circuit test track. Replacing the 575 Marinello in 2007, the 599 not only bested it in performance, but it was lighter, more refined, and had an increased focus on acceleration. Even though it was factory rated to be 92 pounds lighter, the new car was significantly larger. An increase in wheelbase by 10 inches, while overall length grew by 4.6 inches. Width grew by about an inch. This is largely thanks to its aluminum body and space frame, which also increases torsional rigidity by 34%. The 599 boasts a front mid-engine design, placed as low and as far back as possible. A new V12 derived from the Enzo posted a few key advantages over the previous mill in the 575. Not only is the engine 42 pounds lighter, but it's also stiffer, more compact, and boasts a 14% increase in power over the 575. Measures were even taken to help quieten the engine further, therefore creating less mechanical noise interference up front, allowing for a cleaner, more pronounced sound to pass through the dual-mode exhaust. With a race-derived dry-sump lubrication system, the crankshaft is also able to be mounted 2.5 inches lower, which, in addition to the overall engine design, allows for a lower hood and lower center of gravity. With the rear-mounted transaxle, it also gives the car a 53% rear weight bias. In fact, Ferrari claims 85% of the car's weight resides between the axles. The 599 was the first Ferrari to adopt magnetorological shock absorbers, a technology developed and patented by Delphi, an affiliate supplier for General Motors, and originally appeared in 2002 on the Cadillac Seville STS. Since then, it's been used in a wide variety of brands and models, both domestic and foreign, from Chevrolet to Ferrari and even Audi. Of course, while the mechanics remain similar in concept, Ferraris are custom-tuned for the specific application to evoke a firmer feel while allowing it to help keep a level, composed profile on any surface in multiple scenarios. The fluid within the shocks contain metal particles that change viscosity based on fields produced from an electromagnet. A sensor located on each wheel continuously monitors body movement and is able to rapidly alter the damping and rebound rates in as little as one millisecond, for near instant adaptability to varying surfaces. Ferrari also implemented a new F1-based traction control system, paired with the steering wheel Manatino switch which Ferrari claims shaves one and a half seconds off a lap at the Fiorano test track when comparing a standard traction control setup. In lapping the Fiorano circuit, the 599 did it in about 3.5 seconds faster than the 575, while just being 1.5 seconds behind the almighty Enzo. It essentially monitors the speeds of both the front and rear wheels, comparing the data with one of the various stored dynamic models. The F1 track will then adjust the power accordingly, depending on whether you select sport or race modes. The pendant Farina designed aluminum body is a beautiful blend of muscular bulges and sensuous curves designed from the get-go to be the most aerodynamic front-engine 12-cylinder the company had ever produced. Up front, the Bi-Xenon headlamps are pushed towards the edges, giving it a wide profile, and with the power dome hood, it definitely gives you a little bit of a hint of the massive V12 underneath. Gaping vents in the lower front fascia help feed air to the engine and help cool the optional carbon ceramic Brembo braking system. The hood also has a matching pair of vents on either side of the power dome that function as heat extractors. Fender vents evacuate air across the sides, while the lower flank vents provide extra air to the fuel tank and gearbox cooling systems. In the back, cradling the curved rear glass, the flying buttresses, already a pretty unique styling cue themselves, help channel air over the upswept deck lid. This helps reduce lift by 110 pounds without adding to drag, with an already low coefficient of just 0.34. The flat underbody and venturi tunnels create a suction effect underneath that, paired with the rear diffuser, helps draw the car more towards the ground when at speed, again reducing lift. It produces a net downforce of 154 pounds at 124 miles an hour, 352 pounds at 186 miles an hour, and 418 pounds at top speed. This 599 comes with a set of the optional challenge style staggered cast aluminum wheels, measuring 20 by 8 inches in front and 20 by 11 inches in the rear. The first set of 20 inch wheels ever offered on a Ferrari road car. The custom Pirelli P0 tires were formulated specifically for this vehicle for astounding grip, 
245 35s in front and 305 35s in the rear. They've been tested to pull upwards of 1G in lateral cornering forces. As far as the brakes, the best performance was provided by these optional cross-drilled ventilated carbon ceramic Brembo brakes. Measuring 15.7 by 1.4 inches in front and 14.2 by 1.3 inches in the rear. These brakes, costing an additional $18,550 when new, provided superior durability and resistance to fade in high-speed, high-demand scenarios. Stopping 599 from 60 miles an hour is an impressive 105 feet. As far as the suspension, double wishbone provides support at each corner, with the driver adjustable magnetorological dampers, coil springs, in addition to front and rear anti-roll bars. Overall length is 183.7 inches with a width of 77.2 inches and a height of 52.6 inches running on a 108.3 inch wheelbase and a manufacturer claimed curb weight of 3,722 pounds. And yeah, we'll go ahead and pop the hood. The 599 is powered by a 6 liter or 5,999cc all aluminum 48 valve V12 based on the same engine that powered the limited production Enzo Ferrari. While new subcomponents and assemblies were used in making it more compact, the block, cylinder heads, sump and combustion chamber geometries are carried over from the Enzo. The 65 degree F140C engine features chain driven double overhead cams, hydraulic valve lifters, a dry sump lubrication system, compression ratio of 11.2 to 1 and dual variable valve timing. Maximum horsepower output is 611 at 7600 RPM and 448 pound-feet of torque at 5600 RPM. The engine redlines at 8400 RPM which is 12% higher than the 575M. This translates to a manufacturer claimed 0 to 60 time of 3.7 seconds, while actual testing proves to be a bit quicker, with quarter mile times around 11.2 seconds at 131 miles an hour. Manufacturer claimed top speed is 206 miles an hour. As far as fuel economy, the 599 carries a 27.7 gallon tank. While running on premium fuel, EPA estimates range between 11 miles to a gallon in the city and 15 on the highway. Inside, the 599's passengers are treated to a cabin that's been handcrafted and designed for the sole purpose of blending the feel of a high-performance sports car with the refinement and elegance you would find in a Grand Tourer. Everything is finished in leather for the most part, with aluminum controls, carbon fiber detailing, and a whole host of personalization options, from extra technology and convenience goodies to colors, stitching, seat styles, and more. Even the tachometer can be ordered in either red or yellow backgrounds. These optional Daytona style seats pack plenty of lateral support with thick bolstering and firm padding. They can be had in multiple color schemes and the optional color accent stitching. The ribbed portion across the middle is specific to this seat style with perforated sections and plenty of carbon fiber detailing across the seat backs and electric controls below. They're fully powered with three-person memory, four-way power lumbar adjustment, and pneumatic adjustments for the upper and lower side bolsters. And in true racing seat style fashion, the upper portion of the headrest is fixed and kind of cradles around your upper back, providing extra support. The entry threshold is accented by a bright aluminum door entry guard with leather accenting the inner portion, trunk and fuel cap release down below, drilled aluminum sport pedals, and a full power tilt telescoping steering wheel. The dash is a beautiful design, all accented in leather as you go across the length of the vehicle with carbon fiber found throughout. Your lighting as well as power mirror controls underneath the Ferrari F1 World Championship plaque. Other options that can be had in the 599 included an auto dimming rear view mirror, leather lined headliner and rear parcel shelf. As you can see when you fold the seat up you do have the carbon fiber detailing on the back in a high gloss fashion and you have a little bit of storage in the back with a rear parcel shelf. Of course you have a lot more in the trunk area which I'll show a little bit later in the video. There is a storage pocket in between of the front seats and you do have the leather luggage straps in the back. So, let's go ahead and see how she sounds.
So we'll go ahead and shut her up. Very soft closing panels. The 599 can be had with an optional 11 speaker Bose audio system with extra iPod connectivity, 6 disc in dash CD changer, optional navigation, and hands free Bluetooth connectivity. I wasn't able to go in depth on the radio's features at the time because the radio was locked and needed a special code from the dealer. Of course, your leather wrapped A pillars along with the leather wrapped headliner. And your visors are also leather wrapped except for the inner portion, which are Alcantara. Manually dimming rear view mirror. And of course, standard garage home link up top with three programmable settings and interior illumination as well as reading lamps. Up top, you also have the microphone for your hands free Bluetooth telephone. I just think it's such a unique styling cue to have the large piece of high gloss carbon fiber coming across the middle of the dash. It definitely gives you a little bit more of a Formula One inspired interior theme than necessarily a Grand Tourer. Of course, your aircraft inspired air vents up top here. Rotate them to open them, close them, and of course, just move them around to adjust. The satin aluminum highlights the middle portion of the dash, as well as the gear selector down below like you saw earlier. The independent dual zone automatic climate control system as standard. Temperature adjustments on either side, independent zone adjustments, front and rear defrost, as well as fan speed. All in all, the center console is pretty simple, just a combination of carbon fiber as well as leather. There's a little bit of storage in some pockets, the vehicles that lock and unlock features, as well as a little lighter ashtray and or power outlet. This button right here says open is the electronic actuator for the glove box. As well as a little storage pocket in the back. Also awesome instrumentation cluster is a perfect complement with the yellow tachometer to the interior color accent stitching. To the left hand side is a digital driver information system used by the buttons over here. Just press it to go between the different modes, so you have like trip computer and fuel data, vehicle diagnostics, as well as personalizable options. Your automatic rain sensing windshield wipers off to the right, as well as your turn signal and high beam controls to the left. All in all, a pretty simple interior overall. So we're going to shut her down. And we'll check out the rest of the vehicle. As far as cargo space, the 599 has around 11.3 cubic feet or so, which is modest, but it seems a little bit bigger than it actually is. You do have a little bit of extra space to the left if you need to stow some taller items long ways. Down beneath the floorboard, you also have a storage well, so you can have a little bit more of private storage or just an extra space for some items. The passenger seat also features the same power adjustments that you find on the driver's seat. Aluminum kick plate. The beautiful high gloss carbon fiber trim breaking up the supple leather and the vehicle's badging on the right hand portion. And the glove box is electrically actuated. It actually has a good amount of space to it. Also lined in felt. The Ferrari 599 GTB Furiano represents an iconic generation of legendary front engine V12 Ferraris. With an innovative suspension, supercar drive performance, and an interior that can rival the best of the ultra luxury, the 599 is a beautiful and fast work of art. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2009 Ferrari 599 GTB. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.